Hey what's going on guys, it's Tom here, back today with another video, back today with some more Black Ops 2 information and this one is going to please quite a lot of you so I just want to set the scene with this video by showing you the end of the, both the trailers for Black Ops and Black Ops 2 so as you're going to see the Black Ops 2 trailer right here you see it kind of ends quite abruptly there and you're going to see what I'm comparing this to when we look at the Black Ops trailer right here so you can see the trailer kind of ends and then they have this little kind of post video, this little promotion for Xbox 360 saying that you can pre-order the game on Xbox 360 so basically this is because Xbox 360 currently has exclusivity over the PlayStation 3 in terms of kind of DLC and this has been the case for a couple of years now so basically if you guys don't actually know Microsoft actually pay Activision so that the Xbox 360 users can kind of get the DLC before the PS3 users and I suppose that's their way of kind of winning over Xbox people maybe people that haven't got a console and are going to be mainly playing Call of Duty maybe the Xbox getting the DLC first is going to be like a deciding factor for them so that is actually what they do and they've been doing that for a few years now and the deal that they currently have actually expires in 2012 which is of course this year so there was a little bit of speculation saying that this could be the final year that we're going to be getting DLC separations between the Xbox 360 and the PS3 or the DLC in Modern Warfare 3 is going to be like that but it looks from the end of this trailer like that deal has now ceased because I think that if they were going to renew the deal on the end of the Black Ops 2 trailer they would definitely had something saying in the Xbox 360 because got this trailer it's only been out for two days and it's already got like seven million views so they wouldn't kind of miss out on such a big opportunity to kind of show everyone that the xbox 360 is the kind of main console for black ops 2 so that's my thoughts on it i think kind of scrapping this deal is going to make things so so much easier you know personally i've got an xbox and a ps3 and i'm a premium member on elite of both but there's just so many combinations of things now that it's so hard to keep track of you know xbox 360 get everything before ps3 Xbox Premium members get everything before PS3 members, but then there's this kind of little bit of an in-between where sometimes Xbox regular members get things before PS3 Elite members, and, and I definitely think this is something to complain about, you know, the PS3 users are actually paying to get the maps early, but then they're not getting it as early as the guys on the Xbox that haven't paid, so there's so much stuff that just it just overcomplicates things really in my eyes, and I'm pretty glad that they're actually scrapping this. Looks like the DLC in Black Ops 2, because of course the Black Ops 2 DLC is going to be coming in 2013, because the kind of content season, as they're now calling it, actually starts in January. So I'm pleased that that's going to be happening. It just means that it's just a lot easier to keep track of from all our point of view. And for those of you that are wondering, Call of Duty Elite is going to be coming back next year. They're working with a new system called Elite 2.0, which is, again, going to mean that we're probably going to be getting DLC monthly in these drops. But as I've said in this video, it looks like the drop is just going to be separated to elite members on the PS3 and Xbox and just the regular members on the PS3 and Xbox. So anyway guys, that's what I wanted to let you know about this video. I'm personally really glad they're scrapping this and it's nice to see that there's going to be a little bit more equality between the consoles. So I hope you guys enjoyed this information. I'm sure you PS3 guys are really going to like this information. It's always a kick in the teeth when we've got to wait that little bit longer for DLC. So anyway guys, I just want to say a big thanks for watching. Make sure you check out my previous videos if you haven't already. There's a couple on screen right now that you can check out by clicking the annotations. Apart from that, make sure you subscribe to keep up to date with all the latest Black Ops 2 information. And also watch out for a pretty special video a little bit later on tonight. So a big thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you again with another video very soon.